the Clutterbug system puts people into four distinct categories based on how they naturally organize their home. And I discovered this over 15 years ago because I suck at traditional organization and then I started working with clients. And here's the thing, I have spent over a decade researching and testing this theory with literally hundreds of thousands of people, and yet I really suck at explaining it. I have a quiz that over 5 million people take every year to discover their organizing style. This is my life's work, but I'm not the best because I'm not a natural teacher at putting it into words. So I thought in today's video that I would talk about the four organizing styles differently in a different way that I've never talked about before, really focusing on the biggest differences between the styles, some personality traits, and their strengths versus weaknesses. Okay, so let's talk about the main differences between the four different styles, starting with the butterfly. The butterfly is all about creativity. The butterfly really embodies spontaneity and creativity, and people with the butterfly organizing style thrive in environments that stimulate their imagination. So they prefer visual and aesthetically pleasing spaces over strict organization. The biggest difference between butterflies and all the other styles is how they approach their clutter. While they seem totally disorganized to most people, butterflies actually have a method to their madness. They find inspiration in their chaos. They know where everything is in the random crazy piles. They really prioritize flexibility and adaptability. They embrace quickly being able to change rather than adhering to rigid systems. This is totally why I named this organizing style the butterfly, because they flutter around their house, thus going from one beautiful flower to the next. That totally like embodies the personality and the organizing style for this bug type. Okay, let's talk about bees. Bees are all about lots of projects and productivity. A bee organizing style really thrive in bustling environments. Like they like busy, they like to have lots of things to do, and they definitely want function over pretty. So it's all about practicality over the aesthetics of a space. I feel like the key difference between a bee and the all the other styles is that they really put the most emphasis on efficiency, practicality, you know, they want to do things the right way. They need systems that streamline tasks and maximize how much they can get done in a day or how easy it is for them to get things done. Their organization tends to be like a little utilitarian, is that the word? So they definitely prioritize how easy is this to access? How often do I use it? I wanna leave it out. I wanna make sure that things are really accessible and practical and organized over what it looks like. They want it to look nice, but it's way down on the totem pole of importance when it comes to organizing their home. That is definitely the main difference between butterflies and bees. It's all about structure to avoid chaos at all costs. Let's talk about ladybugs who are known for really prioritizing pretty and pretty spaces. This is because they want their home and even their organization to kind of Feel. It's all about the feeling with a ladybug, not only to look pretty, but to feel cozy and inviting. And the biggest difference between ladybugs and all the other styles is that this priority of pretty or form over function means that they don't really care about the organization that much. They will literally chuck things in a bin as long as from the outside it looks like it's really clutter free. And ladybugs really a lot of the time feel anxiety when things look like it's a mess, when they're seeing a lot of stuff. They want things to always be aesthetically pleasing, which is why they hide and shove everywhere in drawers or in closets. Unlike bees who prioritize the function and practicality of their home, ladybugs prioritize the look and feel of their home. They want it to feel cozy, soft, and welcoming, and it doesn't always matter how it functions. The cricket organizing style is all about simplicity and practicality and kind of minimalism. This doesn't mean that crickets are always minimalist, but they definitely want to minimize as much distraction and extra fluff as possible. 
Crickets really thrive in uncluttered spaces and it's all about practicality over sentimentality or pretty. The primary difference between crickets and all the other styles is they have an aversion to excess. I mean, bees are really about practicality and structure as well, but bees like their stuff. Whereas crickets want a streamlined environment. They don't want to see a lot of things. They want it free from unnecessary distractions, which is a lot like a ladybug. But unlike a ladybug who focuses on the feeling and the prettiness of the home, crickets really do prioritize function and simplicity. So their clutter tends to be more minimal than any other bug, but they do still have clutter. It's mainly like practical items or things they might have to organize later, and they tend to pile until they can do it right. I gotta take a second to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. I love learning new things, and Skillshare is the perfect place because it has thousands of classes to learn new skills. And it has a bunch of different learning paths that are curated and their collections to really master a specific skill to help you go from like novice to pro. Anything from photography to animation, graphic design, creative writing. Right now I'm doing the learning path edit eye-catching videos in Final Cut Pro. And I especially love that I can learn how to do creative color grading, like using color wheels and really transforming all of my videos. I'm so excited about this entire learning path because there is a ton of little tips and tricks that I'm going to learn for using Final Cut Pro and editing. And right now, no matter what you want to learn, you can find classes and learning paths in Skillshare. And my first 500 viewers to click the link in my description, get one month free. So if you're like me and you love to learn new things, go to the description, click that link because the first 500 get the first month of Skillshare free. So now that I've like kind of incorporated some of the aesthetic into the home of what it looks like and what they really prioritize, I hope you have kind of a better understanding of what your organizing style might be, but I really want to talk about the strengths versus the weaknesses because I think you'll be able to really see yourself in these descriptions. And let's start again with the butterfly. Butterfly strengths are definitely creativity. They excel in thinking outside the box, finding new solutions to all sorts of challenges. They're really creative, and this creative approach to everything in life often has really unique and visually appealing spaces. They're also really flexible, so they thrive in like chaos, let's be honest. They like dynamic environments, they can adapt to their environment really, really quickly. So they're pretty flexible and they're open to trying new things or experimenting and they're super inspired by their stuff. Like they feel joy, they feel inspiration in color and creativity, beautiful artwork, all the things that they're surrounded by and they really see potential in the chaos and the mess. But let's talk about the weaknesses. Butterflies have like zero structure. They're super spontaneous, but that can sometimes lead to a, like just no structure, no consistency, and no real organizing system in place. They don't have clear guidelines. They don't have clear zones. So they really struggle more than any other style to maintain order and organization. They also have difficulty following through with their tasks. This is mostly because organizing can be kind of boring and setting up systems can be kind of boring. Any type of structure and order can be sort of mundane. So butterflies resist this at all costs. And lastly, they forget to remember a lot of things. What I mean by this is when they're done using an object, they forget, not only do they forget they're even using the object, they're definitely forgetting to put it away. Their mind has already moved on to something else, so they often just drop it wherever they used it last and then pick up something else. So you'll often see butterflies have little trails or little piles of mess, random chaotic mess, all throughout their house. Okay. The B, their biggest strength is definitely they're efficient. They are streamlined, they're productive, and they're awesome at creating systems. They hate wasting time, let's be honest. Their focus is all about function. They want to make sure that stuff has a designated place to go and that it's really easy to find. They want their home to be like anyone can walk in and find things in a second. 
They also are really detailed people and their attention to detail means that things are pretty meticulous, right? When they are putting something away, they're really putting thought behind it. And just like a butterfly, bees are really inspired by their stuff. They look at their stuff and visually, because they're visual people, it sparks creativity. It gives them ideas. They want to see their belongings because not only does it make them happy, but it energizes them too. I almost forgot to mention, bees are also amazing multitaskers and probably the hardest working of all the organizing styles. But now we have to talk about their weaknesses. Let's start with the fact that they're really rigid, which means they're not super flexible. So anytime they have a system and maybe they have something new that they have to add, disaster zone. They don't like changing their structure. They don't like adding new things. They don't like a lot of new things, period. Any time that you deviate from established routines, that's really tough for a bee. And they struggle to adapt to any like unforeseen circumstance or any challenge in their life can really cause a lot of anxiety. Bees also can sometimes be a little bit impatient only because they prioritize function and things being streamlined and things being like really running in order. So anytime there's a monkey wrench thrown in there that slows them down or interrupts this like process that they've developed, they get really frustrated. They also tend to put a lot of pressure on themselves and sometimes on the people around them. And this is because of their other weakness, which is perfectionism. That's what this is really, it. it's all about if they're going to do something, they want to do it right. But this perfectionism can not only make them kind of hard on themselves and others, but it leads to a lot of procrastination. They're going to get to it someday. They're going to do it right tomorrow. They're going to pile it till they can do it perfectly or have the perfect plan. So they often end up with actually a lot of excess and a lot of clutter, which leads me to another weakness that they have, which is letting go because bees are terrified to make a mistake. Are you ready for some strengths of a ladybug? Ladybugs are all about bringing emotion and feeling into their home. So they love a space to feel cozy and inviting and they prioritize how the home feels and they prioritize how it feels to the people living in there. So they like to create customized spaces for their family members. They also usually have a pretty good eye for design, again, because they're prioritizing the aesthetic of the space and how it looks and feels. And with practice, they've gotten pretty good at it. And because they prioritize making a home feel homey, they usually are pretty empathetic and sentimental. So they love creating memory bins or scrapbooks or putting family photos up. It's all about making the home really a nest for the entire family. Okay, so now let's talk about a ladybug's weaknesses. Because they are really focused on how a space looks and feels, they don't really think about how they're going to use it, how it functions, or any practicality, which means it's messy. It, inside hidden spots, behind closed doors, there's a lot of chaos and disorganization going on because that is not a priority at all. So this leads to the second weakness, which is really overwhelm. Ladybugs get very stressed and have a lot of anxiety when things are out of control, but they're creating chaos in all of their hidden spaces so they can't find things and everything's always messy, which then creates anxiety. And they put a lot, like a lot of their stress and anxiety comes from their home. Which leads to their final weakness, which is definitely not only disorganization, but impacting other people's disorganization within the home. Ladybugs tend to hide other people's stuff. So because they want everything to look visually appealing at all times, and they get very stressed when it doesn't look nice, if spouses or children have something out, even if it's something important, a ladybug will grab it and stash it without any kind of rhyme or reason to where it goes. So things are being hidden, which is creating more disorganization and more chaos, not just for the ladybug, but for all of their loved ones too. And finally, we have the strengths of a cricket. A cricket, because they are so practical, but also put an emphasis on simplicity. They have really tranquil environments and often really tranquil energy. They're a little bit zen. 
also because they're so practical and they're really prioritizing the function and the minimal aesthetic of a space and how easy it is to use that space, they are pretty good at letting go. Like they can logically let go of excess clutter because they know that it overcomplicates their life. But I think the biggest strength of a Cricut is their adaptability to any organizing style. They are really just naturally very organized people, but they don't need to have it organized in a really, like, just for them. They're very adaptable, so they can use any other organizing styles system. Sometimes they don't love it, but they can use it easier than any other style. Now let's talk about their weaknesses because I just made crickets sound perfect, right? Nope. Like a bee, crickets tend to be rigid. So while they can adapt to organizing styles, they don't like to adapt to changes in their environments or changes to their routine or changes to the things that they've been doing for a long time. There's not a lot of flexibility. It's like they like to do things the way they like to do it, just like a bee. And another weakness of a cricket is sometimes their spaces can really feel impersonal. Like it's kind of devoid of personality because they are prioritizing minimalism, practicality, streamlining, simplicity. You're not going to see a lot of like sentimental things in the space and it can make spaces feel cold. And crickets also tend to suffer from perfectionism, again, like bees. They want to do things right the first time. They don't want to have to redo things or put something away if it's not done perfectly, so they tend to pile. And this is ironic because they're prioritizing this minimal simplicity in their home, yet they have piles of clutter all over the place. It's because they see these piles of clutter as part of the function, as part of the process of creating this streamlined, organized home. So they will happily look at a pile of stuff to do for years because again, in their mind, that's all part of the process. I do think it's all these different sort of strengths and weaknesses and personality traits that I've really noticed in the different organizing styles that make up their organizing systems. That that's the reason that certain things work for one bug and not for another. It's all of this stuff combined that gives you the ability to create a really organized and functional home because you're working with your natural tendencies, not against them. I hope talking about the different styles in a unique way in this video helped you identify not only your style a little bit better, but maybe seeing your friends and family styles as well. I think understanding yourself and understanding the different, how people organize differently than you is key to creating an organized home that stays that way for good. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, go and take that free quiz at clutterbug.com. Com. There's also a free ebook that you can download that gives you a ton of ideas and inspiration for your organizing style. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I want to share something with you because this is bonkadonks to me. I told you in the beginning of this video that I've never been really great at explaining the different organizing styles. I remember my producer from Hot Mess House, Heidi, she was like, how is this your life's work and yet you can't articulate it very well? I'm just not great at that. So for this video, guess what I did? I went to chat GTP and I typed in, please write an essay on the different organizing clutter bug styles and what their strengths and weaknesses are. This entire video was AI. I was inspired to use chat GTP today because of you, actually. You guys send me emails all the time showing me how you use AI to act as me to give you advice. Just today, Cece sent me an email and she literally copied and pasted what she got from the AI app. And she typed in, please give me packing advice as if you were Cassandra Arson from Clutterbug. And then it just gave her, it was like all the tips I've ever said, it just like pulled it and was talking to her as if 
It was me giving her the advice and it was exactly what I would have said. It's crazy pants. I have seen so many of you send me emails of doing this. Also, one of you sent me an email that said, show the, the like how the Clutterbug styles connect with the Myers-Briggs, you know, and, and it wrote this whole thing and it made sense. This AI thing is crazy. And why I wanted to share this with my end story, because here's the thing. The AI knows my clutter bug system better than I do. It explains it better than I do. It puts together the connections that I've never seen way better than I could ever do. And I know it's just sourcing things I've said or that other people have said on the internet, but it's crazy pants fascinating. So I did a whole, this whole video, AI wrote it, crazy. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. If you feel like the AI really nailed your personality and your clutter bug type, or if it was a little bit off, I can't wait to read your comments and I'll see you guys next time.